Hey there, so you're going to get one sheet of white paper off the table, and you're going to need to put your name on it, Mr. Calvert, and we're going to be working on a landscape today, so I can flip it over, and we're going to start off with something called the horizon line. The horizon line is where the sky meets the ground, okay, so it's going to be up towards the top of your paper, Just kind of some hills maybe, don't want it to be perfectly flat, right, like that. Then, I'm going to draw a road, and we want our road to look like it's going back into the distance. So it's going to kind of wind back and forth. All right, so like this, I'm going to go, doesn't have to wind a ton, something like that, okay? And then I'm going to draw that a second time, so it actually looks like a road, so it's not just a line. Now when I draw this, it's going to start out thicker right here. And as it goes back, it's going to get closer and closer to that other line until they probably meet, you know, somewhere back here. And that, once again, is going to help show space. So just kind of gently drawing this in in case I need to erase it and fix something. So you can see it's getting closer and closer. Probably right in here, it might just even connect like that. Okay, so there's my road kind of weaving back into the distance. Next, we want to break up our land in some different sections. So I'm going to draw just some kind of lines coming out. Probably don't want just straight lines, you know, you might kind of curve them a little bit. And as I get closer to the top of my land, my lines are going to get closer together. Okay, so down here it's going to be pretty thick but they're going to get uh, narrower as we go up. Okay, and that's going to help show space. And I can do the same down here. So I'm just going from the road out to the edge of my paper right now. Just don't like that one. I'm going to fix that a little bit. Okay, so thick, then it gets narrower and narrow as we go up. Now I'm going to take some vertical lines and split up some of these sections. Okay, I don't have to split up all of them, but um, I'm going to use some vertical and diagonal lines to do that. Maybe I'll even add another kind of horizontal in there. It's just creating some different spaces to my artwork. Sorry, you can't see what I'm doing over there. Okay, so that's pretty good. Next, I'm going to find probably a gray or a black Sharpie. And if you don't have one at your table, um, you might you probably won't have a black one. I'll set some up front. Um, but if you want to use gray instead, you might have to kind of ask around. I'm going to outline my road carefully with the Sharpie. This. I'm going to do the other side too. Taking my time. Okay. Roads outline. Last thing you do is you're going to pick one color for your ground and you're outline all of those lines with it. So I think I'm gonna choose blue. And all these other lines I drew, I'm going to carefully outline. Okay, now when you are that far, you are done for the day. Okay, take your time. Um, drawing your horizon line first. Draw your kind of curvy road and make sure that when you go to draw the second line for it, it starts to get closer and closer together as it goes further back. Draw some kind of horizontal curved lines for your ground and make sure that they start to get thinner as we go up. And then a few diagonals or verticals um, to kind of split up those chunks of land. When you get that far, you are done for the day and we'll just set these up front in a nice neat pile.